Hey there fellow crafters, my name is George and this is the Spare Time G and today we're gonna make an awesome fight scene from Attack on Titan Season 3 from Levy and the Beast Tide. I think that this was my favorite scene from this season 3, uh, the fight scene at least, uh, it was quite awesome, it was not even a fight, it was a one-sided slaughter like against the female titan, even more than that, you can kind of uh, understand that uh, fighting against female titan Levi was kind of holding back and waiting for something to come out from her and against beast titan he just went in and one, two, three, like it took everything from uh, every limb from the beast titan to react, eyes as well, and then just chopped him out of his uh, uh, neck. Or he even was trying to harden the skin at the back, but wasn't able to do due to this uh, like amazing speed Levi has. Yeah, it was quite an epic moment, and wanted to, I wanted to depict it, and at the same time, kind of. Uh, uh, putting one more titan shifter in my uh, channel as I have done armor titan, female titan. So I'm starting out the process by making the titan himself, the beast titan with this stance. I wanted to make the initial stage of the fight when the titan is trying to grab Levi in midair and he is going and uh, doing these crazy circles around his uh, left arm, uh, titan's left arm and chopping it into pieces and then going back uh, for the second attack on the eyes. Uh, so I wanted to depict that moment, uh, that's why I'm making the one arm stretched out in front from uh, him. And uh, already you can see and understand the shape of the body. I'm trying to add much more weight onto the torso uh, than onto the uh, arms. Uh, and also at the same time they really need to be longer than the quite simple proportions for a human. Uh, you can go to the Google and see the proportions of the Beast Titan much easier. The only thing, the only change I have made uh, was the legs. I wanted them to be a lot larger than it is depicted in the show and in the manga as well. I wanted to go with more like a colossal titan design when he, where he has these massive legs to support the immense weight it is carrying. So as we have already added the four bits, uh, also keep in mind that these four bits will really thicken up the limbs, especially the arms, and make sure that you consider that and make the base part like uh, slimmer, a bit slimmer than your final version needs to be, as these four bits will thicken it up quite nicely. So, once we are done with the four bits, we can then go and work with the muscles. You can really use a proportional human body for the muscle bits. Just this only thing is that um, the, the Beast Titan has this strangely ugly stomach, uh, despite the muscular, uh, muscular uh, torso, he is having a bit of a belly, and quite low on his torso, so uh, keep in mind that uh, you need to really sculpt that in order to have this uh, more resembling uh, figure to him, and at the same time you can go and work with the muscles. Uh, be sure I, for example, am making this base for the muscles and then going to cover it with a thin layer of yellow clay. Uh, that really gives me uh, like two options. First one, uh, I do not really want to paint the torso as the irregularities of for the paint will really make it less resembling to the skin. And the second bit is covering it up with a thin layer of clay really makes the effect of skin covering the body uh, muscles at this uh, particular instance and it really uh, is going to look much more natural and nice uh, all these bulges of muscles than if we had simply painted everything uh, right here. Now we have left to make the hands and the head. Making hands is quite easy, not that difficult as we do not really have that much details to make and at the same time it is quite easy at this scale to make a uh, 
fingers to work. You just simply need to have this uh, large rod and uh, cut it into four pieces for all the fingers except thumb. Thumb really needs to be like, like thicker and you can simply make it from the um, original clay piece. Uh, just make sure that the hands are a bit prolongated than the human one and fingers especially maybe twice as long as the correct human proportions. I don't really know why that is but still again I kind of uh, can uh, stick that detail uh, to the ability of throwing rocks pretty far away. Making the head is a bit complicated than the hands, uh, but it is quite easy to copy the features which will be re resembling the Ape Titan, uh, I call it Ape Titan for some reason, um, more like a Beast Titan. Uh, for example, the nose, it needs to be kind of uh, upright, uh, positioned up like a vampire uh, or something. Um, and at the same time, it needs to have these uh, monkey-like features, uh, for example, extended mouth piece. Uh, and uh, of course, these crazy looking ears at the sides. And of course, uh, black eyes with yellow, uh, glowing yellow uh, pupils. Once you're done with everything that, then you can go, go and paint everything up into this brownish color as the Ape Titan 4, uh, Beast Titan 4 again. Um, and at the same time, you can notice that I have gone into the details of scratching the um, four pieces a bit with my wooden tool that, in my opinion, more uh, like uh, helps to understand that it is a fur instead of some kind of other protrusions. In my opinion, it, as at least it looks much better than the original version. And at the same time, make sure that you have the connection scratches, connection points onto the uh, skin version at the torso. The bottom and top part are um, going um, like the transition points are like more or less resembling the fur bits. Once you're done with that, then you can use some kind of... I'm, for example, right now using the kidney tool, but of course you can really use any kind of uh, sharp uh, piece for this. Go around the hand in this kind of spiral manner and cut um, it. Once you're done with the initial cut, then, can, then you can go and cut out, like carve out the pieces which are missing, so to say. Uh, in this case, I'm making this base a lot wider, base uh, much wider than this sword could make. That's because I want to attach the cotton later on and it will conceal these widened uh, pieces, but at the same time, the connection point is going to be much uh, better. Once you're done with the, that, then you can attach these blood pieces. The blood is also connecting the cotton out uh, fingers and the thumb to the hand, hand. And at the same time, there are splashes all over the hand, head. And then, of course, you can cover it up with the cotton. Make this tube of wire and connect Levy to it. Levy figure is quite tough to make. Unfortunately, I do not have a few footage of me making this one, but yeah, I can see it is quite a easy process to do. It's quite simple, I wanted to say. Nothing special and not even a try of the detailing for the face or something else. At this scale, uh, with my clay, it is quite impossible. So I went with this. And we are done. I'm quite happy with this figure and this is the third actual Titan I have made on this channel. I think the Beast Titan and Levy of course. Unfortunately Levy is quite smaller but it is everything in the proportions and we all know what's happening here and it is the Beast Titan who is getting um, defeated. defeated. The only uh, one nitpick I have is about the base. If I had a bit more time I would have Gone and make uh, made the uh, base cotton uh, green in color. Uh, that is, if you have seen the episode, the scouts were shooting uh, green smoke uh, projectiles to the Beast Titan in order to like make this mist, green mist, and uh, complicate his vision. 
in order for the levy uh, for levy to sneak up onto him and yeah I'm quite happy with this result. I hope you enjoyed this one as well. And I really hope that you tried this project yourself as well. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this project as much as I enjoyed making it. It was quite tough and took a lot of time, but still the end, episode, end result is kind of worth it in my opinion. The next uh, project for Attack on Titan is going to be Colossal Titan. And until then, have a nice day and see you next time. Goodbye.